All right, I think uh, I think we're good. Bro, you're golden. Yeah. Bro, golden. How you been, man? I've been good. I've been really, really good. Feeling uh, physically strong because I've been swimming the past week. You have? Like a I, I wouldn't dolphin, know. I have dude. no idea. You've been swimming? <laughs> dude, it's, it's not like you post pictures of your watch on Snapchat every fucking day. Every single morning, twice a day, dude. You gotta stop with that shit. It's like Jocko Willink. You know, no, that that's the poor guy. Dude, it's the <laughs> fucking shit. No offense. I shouldn't say it. <laughs> but it's fucking. You should. Yeah. Dude, you gotta stop with the watch pics, man. Oh my god. Uh, I. It's it's to prove to everyone that I'm not capping, you know? It's a little bit like. To, Bro, we believe you. No one be no, like. But okay, the, the way my brain works, like, wholeheartedly is. If I do, if I did like Monday, oh my God, I, okay, Monday I get this swim pass and I'm going to start swimming every day. That's what I tell myself, right? Yeah. And then if I would have started posting about it Monday and Tuesday and I'm like, and I, I know I have a few friends on the story that actually know that I've told them that, oh yeah, I'm going to swim every day or something like that. And they were like, okay, I see him posting two days in a row. Imagine if I miss, don't post on like a Wednesday morning. Nobody's going to care. Dude, you're not a fucking influencer. Nobody's going to care. Nobody's going to be like, where's my daily? Fuck, dude, there's no daily Alexi watch swim post. How am I going to stay motivated? I'm going to start doing heroin now. Because I have no motivation to keep going because Alexi didn't post a picture of his watch, dude. That's the most delusional shit I ever no, heard. But li- no, because I want to I wanna let my friends know that, like, care, you know? And uh, I don't know. I have this, you know, if I talk the talk, I got to walk the walk a little bit. Yeah, right? but you don't gotta I got to document it on Snapchat. No, but that's... Okay, well, if I you don't, go, if you go okay, swimming, okay, well, if I want to really argue with you, then it's just like I, if I post it on my private story, it auto saves it onto my Snapchat memories, and I want it personally, anyways, documented. So it's just like, why not? Why not? Okay, so dude, there's only fifteen of you there. He 15 like, people that's like and i know the 15 people that see it it doesn't actually bother them it's actually kind of entertaining every now and then dude yeah but those you're yeah bro listen you're a new fucking person you're the most recent ones the other ones they've been there for yeah they've been desensitized now. they they've seen they've seen darker sides you know dude then bro <laughs> the post swim shirt let's speak that's gotta stop <laughs> That has to stop, dude. No, dude. Um, it's uh, it it just shows everyone improvement, you know. It's uh, and it's, dude. It's mostly guys. It's yeah, yeah, mostly yeah. guys. That doesn't matter, dude. What so do you mean shows like, improve? Do you think I'm going like, oh, on Monday his abs were way less visible, but actually today, oh, well, I can see them more. <laughs> He's improving so much. No, but it's just a you know motivate the. the guys that are in my like those are my close homies the ones that see that story so it's just like then if i can motivate if a loser like me loser look at that loser alexi haha alexi look oh shit he got oh okay you know even he could do that you know if i if a loser like me can't even do it then so could you because if so, one of my friends would say like start like you know hitting intermittent fasting because i like dude that'd be like the greatest shit ever because that's like good for them though right you know that's how i think dude i'm gonna motivate you in return yeah every time that i go to gym and i do glutes i'm gonna send you ass pics just a whole bunch of snapchat ass pics just like crowd your phone with fucking (laughs) male butt (laughs) that's what i'm gonna do and then i'll see how motivated you feel with some vin bosoms dude (laughs) Jeez, um, yeah, but but I'll send them to you personally, though. Mm-hmm. I'm not psycho enough to put it on my story. Yeah, I'm a little bit psycho, but that's fine. I was always that kid at a skate park that, like, yeah, you're during not like, the yeah. summer. I'd get there, and then like within ten minutes and one drop of sweat, I'm already taking the t-shirt off. Oh yeah, you know, I have to take this shirt off. You know, what point are you making here? 
I don't know. I I kind of don't prefer clothing if I don't have to. <laughs> what the f- dude, you sound like you've been fucking hit by a truck, dude. This is the dumbest shit I ever heard. Well, At least you're, you're since the last who, podcast. You're, you're pushing me into these corners all the time, Vin. No, I'm not the one making you post shirtless pics on Snapchat. Yeah, that's very true. But I like it. I'm not going to stop it. You kind of like it, too. And, yeah, come on. Try try, try and look like that, Vin. Come on, go ahead. Try no, and look like I that. I could buddy. easily. Yeah, okay. I could Why easily. don't you do it then? Damn. Okay, fine. I guess you're proving your point then. <laughs> exactly. I'm going to start sending you incremental ad picks every day. I want to hit the watch. Yeah, exactly. If you start hitting, hitting me up with the watches or whatever, like the calories burnt or whatever, or muscle mass. No, just literally remember how last week we talked about how fucking gay it is to talk about your grind. Now yeah. what are we doing? <laughs> we need to stop this fucking immediately, dude. This is the dumbest shit. Nobody no, wants to hear this, dude. Vincent, I want to fucking tell you right now. Yeah, what do you want to tell me? That it's all coming out of positivity. It's all dude, positive I get, You're starting stuff. to sound like The Rock, dude. And no, you need but... to be hit by one. <laughs> to fucking bring you back to earth, dude. This is the dumbest shit. Yeah, it's all powered by positivity. What the fuck? <laughs> Dude, when you start posting cheat meal pics, that's when it's uh, over. That's yeah, when that is that is really when it's over. And you're not that far. You literally just post pictures of like sandwiches sometimes. No, but that's the fucking healthy sandwiches, meal. not dude. cheat meals. I would see. I'm in a different phase because oh, before you were added, when I was living back in like Bori, yeah, that was when every single night you just see a food video instead, like a freaking like a cheat meal one where I. would I'd make like a lasagna on top of that, <laughs> you know, cooked like a bake like a cake or some shit. <laughs> now you bake yourself cakes, dude. I, bro, I damn near made any kind of culinary experiment in body that I could nah. because I I was, you know, not in the best mental state. But ma, I don't. I love food, and food was one of the number one things I grab the hold of when it came to like making me feel a little bit better about myself you know even though at the end it didn't really because i just gained all the weight but yeah. dude there's something when's the last time you've done like a slow cooking project uh i mean probably over like christmas I just that was a bunch of cooking yeah 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 yeah, yeah. but when I was in Pori, this one one of the craziest and probably the most delicious things I've ever cooked was like a real authentic like slow cooked tomato sauce, like Italian tomato okay. sauce. You know. And it took me I think it was like ten hours. I I could have done like the whole shabazz of like freaking forty eight hours, you know. Some of them yeah. take that long. But I decided, okay, I'm not going to go that crazy. Ten hours. You know, I bought pork. I bought, you know, beef, you know, on the bone and stuff. Like, all kinds of different oh, pieces. Oh, damn, dude, that sounds fucking good. And then, like, the actual San Marzano tomatoes. Oh, shit. You know, crushed them by my hands, you know. Ten hours, cook it down with some red wine, with the everything, everything, you know. Okay, yeah, I can see that. And then, that, and then because I had that much tomato, I put it, I did a baked ziti, I did a lasagna, I did a, like, I did, a, you know, bolognese, like craziness, yeah, craziness. Yeah. Um, so I think, uh, I think there's something so interesting about putting ingredients no, and yeah, flavors it, together. And cooking then, does a role. Yeah, that's for, that's true. Cooking's fun. But what would what do you think was salt the first seasoning ever? Or was no. sugar? Sugar was No, I don't know. So I think pepper. No. Lemon. I think pepper would be sooner cuz salt you got to mine. Right? And sugar you have to like No, sugar you can get pretty. Well, you need to make like cane. Then what how if you process just this? But pepper is like a fruit. It's like corn of a or like the seed of a fruit or something. Or is it just a fruit itself? I don't know, but I think like you know pepper 
no, it's got to be like maybe chili, because they grow just wild, you know, mm. like some sort of like a wild. How pepper. long did human beings think chili was just straight poison, though? No, probably after the first guy ate it, everyone was like, okay. Because then after that, if really? the first guy eats it and you still, but survives, it, if you don't eat it, then you're but, kind of a, you know, you're a pussy. So do you think the only reason spice is, you know, we eat spice, it's like a regular thing? Well, I mean, you know, some people really can't eat spice at all for some reason. Yeah, whites. <laughs> yeah, that, you're very dude. There's some Finnish ways. People, dude. Some go hard though. It's yeah. like really weird. There's like that three percent that like Chuck Tabasco like every single where they can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, think about like Finnish food, dude. Yeah, it's the blandest shit you'll ever eat. Like, think about it for real. It's like maybe pepper, mm. dude. It's so bad. Mm. Cause like you think about it this way, dude. Think about how bad Finnish food is. If you go to like another country mm. where there's even if there's Finnish immigrants, there no there's no Finnish restaurants. Yeah, like, dude. If you go to like a Chinese restaurant in Finland, mm-hmm. there's Chinese people there. Yeah. Even though they're in another country, they want their own food. Yeah. If I went to another country and there was a Finnish restaurant, I stay far away from that fucker. <laughs> so why would I want to eat that bland shit? Like our cuisine is so bad, dude, that we don't even when we. When our people move yeah. to other countries, we're like, yeah, we're going to separate these people from this bullshit food. Yeah. It's, no, you're, you're so right now that I think about it. It's, uh... Like, dude, my, um, I inherited, like, a recipe book from my, my grandma after she passed away, right? Yeah. And in there was just, like, an old, old postcard of a recipe from, like, 1940 mm-hmm. from, like, German or Finnish settlers in Michigan or something. Yeah. And it was, like, a recipe for, like, beef fat pudding. Exactly, oh, dude. That's what, like, what that's what we, eat, dude. <laughs> that's what, like, like Northern Europeans. No, that's, that's not all okay. food is like. You know, think about British food. It's like yeah. puddings that are made of like ground <laughs> meat. What dude, the they fuck? They put pastries and ground meat. Yeah. What the fuck? What the actual dude? <laughs> dude, what the fuck is beef Wellington? Bro? Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, but I don't fuck with beef. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like it's like. A, you put a steak in a croissant. Well, what the fuck is that? <laughs> yeah, dude. And you want to, and you want to put like, a layer think about, of soggy ass mushroom in between. It's like, yeah, I don't, like dude, the, you don't even get a char on the motherfucker. Like, think about German food. Yeah, you can't. There's no good German food. Okay, well, I don't know. I wouldn't go that far. Germans, Germans got some. What, shit what food out. do they have? Do schnitzels, bro? Okay, yeah. So what? Nah, bread nah, it nah. In. bro, bro, bro. I've been to Munich twice, okay. and both times I've hit this nice. I'm talking about in a nice neighborhood, where the you'll have a McDonald's and next to a Porsche dealership. Okay, nice neighborhood, and they have one of these traditional German kind of beer house restaurants, right? Yeah. Fucking get the beers going, and then you order the schnitzel, or you can have the the there's this german version of like a meatball that's like stuffed and shit oh and then they have like a different kind of potato it's roasted potatoes but in their own way okay yeah fine and then you have the desserts that's crushed up pan like pancake pieces with different kind of caramelized nuts and a side of Fucking applesauce. God okay, fine. Fine. damn, Germany. That's good. one good... And uh, Germany, think... Belgium, fucking all those places. That's where the fucking... The, didn't Belgium people come up with the French fry? Okay, fine. Didn't they, they come can up do, with the French they, they're fry? They're good with potatoes. That's it. Because that's the only fucking thing that grows in Northern Europe. It's like potatoes <laughs> and sadness. But like... Think yeah. about... Dude, okay. Yeah, Europe is good with like pastries and desserts. Yeah, like a schnitzel, you know, it's breaded and fried meat. Mm. Would you rather have schnitzel or like southern fried chicken? You know, think about I don't that. know. That's actually kind of hard. That's the, I don't know. I mean, schnitzel is like I don't know, dude. I've had the schnitzel that I had there. No. It wasn't no cheap schnitzel either. That was pretty different, no, dude. Northern Europe can't do food. Think about the higher north you go, it just gets worse. Like, think about Finnish food. Mm, mm. Don't. It's horrible. But Swedish I, food, 
If what I throw fuck? you a curb bar right now. Meatballs. Out of. In fucking brown sauce. If we're talking about just general gastronomy. <laughs> Yeah. Gastronomy and yeah. culinary arts or whatever. What country or what place on earth would you want to go dine at? Like fine dining at? Fine dining? Yeah. If I had like unlimited budget, I mean, mm-hmm. dude, I would have to say like the fucking 15, 18 course taste menu fucking you know i oh, dude i mean i would you'd have to say us because they have like the most different diverse different kinds of restaurants you know mm. like in like they have like mm. crazy good like asian cuisine of all kinds yeah they have like all the different you know that's like it's like okay. the most diverse you can get with food yeah other than that maybe yeah it's like a big business there's a lot of money there yeah so that's where you get a lot of but like yeah just that's just like yeah. It's hard for me not to say Italy. Okay, Italy. But I feel like in but Italy I feel, I feel like that could get to maybe some crazy place. Or Japan might be sick. Cuz like think about like wagyu beef that they have and like sushi from like some fresh southern, fish. A southern American place would be crazy. Yeah, but like if you if you have, if it has to be like fine dining. Then it's like I think US is best because they have so many like different no, kinds of fancy Argent- restaurants. Argentina. Just think about munch it. on steak. That's Ste- sick. But I feel like there's a lot of uh, seafood too, right? Because I think they're, they're known for steak, but maybe I don't know. Probably yeah. a lot of German food. <laughs> yeah, they sneak. Dude, they sneak bro. the schnitzel in there. Bro, I've been Whoa. I've been reading a book. I've been reading uh, some new books, dude. Yeah, one book I read um, was may, may I, did I talk about it last week I read a book called like uh, Confessions of an Economic Hitman did I tell you about it no yeah you already did. Yeah, yeah yeah so then after that I started reading a book called The Devil's Chessboard mm-hmm. okay, and it's basically about like this guy who worked for the CIA the guy yeah. who like started the CIA mm-hmm. and how he was like cooperating with Nazis and shit during like World War 2 he was like trying to smuggle them through Europe I haven't got that far but it's like, it's all this crazy shit how like the president wanted to do one thing. I wanted to get all the people, like all the Nazis like tried at Nuremberg. Mm. But then this guy wanted to like cooperate with them to have leverage against the Soviets, I think. Yes. And he like snuck them through Europe and gave them like secret deals. Ooh. And apparently, and this is just what the book says, but apparently Hitler was gay. <laughs> Yeah, because there was like another, there was like a, another gay guy, like a gay German guy who was like high in the society. Yeah. The high society, like flamboyant dude. Yeah. He knew a bunch of languages. He was like a fancy guy. In, like, yeah, the and Nazis then he was in Italy. He was just he saying said, like, that he was he said, fucked yeah. by. No, he said like Hitler at a party had a, ordered or had like a bunch of like supple young boys come over. Okay. So Hitler was maybe like, but maybe was it was it in like maybe it was the Marlon Brando kind of gay way, where everyone's just so high and it's just like it's just a huge orgy of drugs and sex and that's that. I mm. think that might be the case. Maybe because but, but- dude, it's well known that that crazy, twisted fuck was also off every known drug to man yeah i read a book about that in like high school about like how healer was on like a crazy amount of meth that was yeah. pretty interesting but i haven't yeah. gone that far in this book but it's fucking wild like there's like, like sneaking nazis through europe and then then it goes into like his like if the cia guys like his wife and mm. her dreams mm. like this time like his wife had dreams where she had she his wife had like dreams where she had a dick oh. and she told about that to like her psychiatrist because her oh psychi my. no her psychologist because the wife of the cia yeah her psychologist was like carl jung who's one of the most famous psychologists ever really yeah and then she'd like go over to europe and get like sessions with him and shit then she told me all these fucking dude it's crazy he's like dreams and all this shit <gasps> i mean i can like follow through half the book but it's fucking wild dude it's a great book um <sighs> 
you know, all of this stuff, it really does sound a lot like the movies, right? Yeah. With the spying and everything like, like that. Dude, I'm it's just way wondering, crazier than the movies. I'm, I think it's like reality is way I'm, more nuts. I'm, I'm, yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to pose. Imagine knowing that like underworld or like that like whole different hidden level of society you know yeah i th oh. but you're saying it's crazier i think so. i mean dude no there's like it's not that they always say reality reality well, is crazy oh. and fiction but there was like a dude who you know when they hung the nazis for war crimes yeah right so when they have to had to the the nazis that were hung they were hung in like um a gym that was used like u.s army soldiers had been like playing basketball there a yeah. couple hours earlier and then they just built like the gallows to hang the nazis there yeah but then apparently the book list is kind of open to interpretation like maybe intentionally or not they built the gallows like badly so one of the nazis when they hung him he like dangled there and like like choked for like 40 minutes he just kept like you know suffering yeah. so then like one of the u.s army guys had like just grab by his legs and yank him so he'd like finally die and they're like it maybe was like they wanted to like intentionally punish the nazis even harder by like making you know making oh like God. faulty gallows oh my God. you know and then the guy who executed those nazis uh, he was like yeah no i did a good job there was nothing wrong with it oh but God. like half of them like you know Oh, stood there yeah. and suffered for like 15 minutes oh then that God. guy stop, stop, stop. that guy who hung them two years later oh, dude, he accidentally so electrocutes himself and then dies <laughs> no stop. dude think about that that shit's fucking insane dude so <sighs> fuck he was like a sergeant in the army and it freaks me out how a lot of this has to do you know because some of the movies that we watch that are these blockbuster movies and stuff like that, it's always about, okay, this, someone stole the nuclear clothes. It's always something like that, right? Some evil evil villain has wants to get that one thing that can destroy the whole world and then like someone has to save it. Is that what it really is like? in real life like in espionage yeah espionage I with mean, the politics and the you know if there's like war going on all the time that means there's also all that crazy stuff I, mean, going I think on it's at the same time it's, right it's or is like, it all just cap is it all just no cap? no no is it, there's it all no way it's all cap all the whatever geneva you know what what is that convention sorry like the human rights thing like yeah the and then the un whatever isn't there there there's like laws for war right? yeah that's weird is it is it it's fucking so weird there's like laws does, for war but then you're allowed to like do war that's weird it's like that is can, so fun in a way like yeah you can just like kill and bomb people but like if you use like a certain kind of bomb <sighs> that's you're not allowed to do that it's like like it's weird, but I mean, kind of it makes sense, right? Like yeah. you can't use chemical weapons and shit. Yeah. But then you're gonna say you can't use chemical weapons. Why not mm. just say you can't do mm. war at all? Yeah. You know, it's like that's the like international law in a way. It's like weird. Yeah. Who's yeah. Gonna, I don't know who's gonna you know follow it. Yeah, I don't know the whole idea of war. How there's like there's this whole we're gonna attack or we're on the offensive and we got to react defensively or the other way around or what all of this how it's still a whole country or now nowadays it's countries right yeah and i mean i guess technically the whole time it's always been a mass of people no matter how yeah. big or the size of the mass Right, if we're talking about empires or yeah, whatever yeah. the fuck before. But how many, I feel like before, at least most of the percentage of people were in it. What do you mean? You like know, for the, the cause. I mean, I think. Because I think now it's just this weird, oh, we're going to decide to do this because of we want power in them. 
the other country does this because we want power and then we're the only way we get to decide is like click a button or vote or you know you know click tick on a paper and that's the only way we can like any way influence what happens you know yeah i've kind of lost where you're trying <laughs> to go like how does that to do with like war yeah no yeah because everything we can't really decide at the end of the day yeah right yeah but at least before you believed in it more is what i'm trying to get at i, mean, I believe i yeah. think so at least when there's like kings and shit you were worship like worship them like a god or like emp emperors and shit yeah. you were worship them like and then if they say yo someone's attacking us and or we need to go do this so we can fucking like you're like fuck yeah but then also go. if you didn't believe him you're fucked that's the other side like if you like have any questions about the king like that then they'll kill you you know so that's why now when you're allowed to like vote on shit it's like you're allowed to kind of disagree is that's the idea true. i think i think that's the idea but, but we again, know so much less that's the weird part we know so much less how what yeah. do you mean i don't know like the general mass like i don't know how any of that stuff really works yeah but that's with, my excuse with, fucking dumbass with, with money and that's stuff. why i mean because we're two fucking idiots dude <laughs> oh oh shit dude we have a guest we coming guess let's hit the pause I think you and I got a little off track and a little deep there. Vin. I don't know what we were, dude. You were like, bro, life's, you know, you're tripping out on. I don't know what you were tripping on. What I'm really trying to get at here is if we're going to war, I'm goddamn joining in. And I'm going to defend my country with pride. What because goddamn it, I'll tell you what. What country? My dick has never gone harder. The fuck are you? When I press that trigger on my machine gun. Is this a weird movie And I let reference? those bullets fly. What the fuck are you talking because about? Because every time, Vin, I hit the bullseye. <laughs> it's like a shit movie reference or are you just a fucking dumbass? No, I'm just telling you the fucking truth, dude. I miss... That was my highlights and the only thing i really would like to talk about about my experience in military was shooting was shooting because it's kind of fun yeah it's fun dude it's kind of cool dude yeah for in sure. the most non-violent way i think it's super you get super focused no aiming you, at shit and shooting at it is fun obviously it's with hand-eye coordination it's like very like yeah yeah breathing i like how you have to control everything the physical side of it you know and then yeah Shoot. and after you you know after you let that trigger go and you you know hit a little recoil kicks back a little you're like you know she's kicking you know no i mean <laughs> yeah but no did you uh did you ever name your gun in the military no yes no yeah what, what did you name no. yours? Yeah. What did you name yours? Pamela. Pam. Oh, what the fuck, dude? Yeah, she was there. She was there the whole time. No. She was my sweetheart. No, because I changed guns because I transferred, like where I was halfway oh, through. Oh right, right, so right. I had a, I, sh I had a shit RK62, and then I went to another place, and I got RK95. Okay. And okay. I was sick. Yeah. I didn't. Even, I think I shot it like a few times. I didn't shoot it much. Yeah, well, me, myself, I got a freaking marksman pin because I shot perfectly okay. for my, uh, for my well, final shooting test in the military. Wow, you're so cool. You're so hot. I'm sorry, but... Uh, you're so was, cool, dude. I, with the mag change and everything, you know, I had to... Yeah, I did the same test. Yeah, but uh, I got the pin, bud. Okay. Well, <laughs> aren't you just the coolest little boy? No, but I fucking love my machine gun because I ended up having a different one to what everyone else was doing. We uh, got the um, we got the underbarrel in where we were. Okay. 
like the under barrel like foregrip okay. oh that's sick actually. right and then all of us got the red dot pretty much as soon as we got the gun as well oh that's sick um except my red dot didn't work Damn. it worked like one shooting and then it was kind of like half working and then it stopped working even though i replaced the battery like it was just broken so i never got it fixed but to put the red dot on your gun you have to put this side plate the red dot comes with a side plate yeah so i just kept the side plate on so it was kind of different and then i ended up because i was a medic i have the the medics tape you know yeah. the the brown kind of stuff like the gauze yeah yeah yeah, yeah that you yeah. know you can so i did a custom grip on the one on the on the handle Damn. for the trigger and it was perfect like you didn't get yelled at for that no nobody got mad no that's fucking crazy no i had i had multiple uh uh lieutenants ask me about it hey can i try that and they're like oh my god wait this is actually like really good Damn. because the version of ours they were for some reason it was smoothing out the sides where your finger is and the yeah. back of your palm is the the sides like this where they were actually they had the grip or whatever yeah. But the ones that way were smoothing out. So I just start hit a custom grip. Damn. And it was, oh, Pam. Pamela was beautiful. I cleaned her nice, rubbed her down with oil. Okay. Mm, well, this is getting For hours little... every week. Jesus you know? Christ. This she took care of me dude. and I took care of her. I'm not know? trying to. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Bro. Uh, and I, I can't wait for Pamela 2.0 that's waiting for me if the shit hits the fan. Because that that one's gonna be a fierce one, that one's gonna be a fierce one. We're gonna let it fly, you know. Yeah, you I think you have fun in war? <laughs> this is the dumbest shit I ever heard, dude. Well, I mean, I have the mentality that if I'm going to war, I'm fucking, I'm, you know, not living for like a month any longer than a month anyway. So I might as well just go kind of like half psychopath and you know thinking about the good times and just like enjoy it, right? What mm. I, I'm not supposed to enjoy, even though I'm supposed to like I think die I don't anytime. Think I, yeah, I don't think you're supposed to enjoy war. That's fucking <laughs> retarded. You're not supposed to enjoy war, dude. <laughs> Ask any like veteran. You're not supposed to be like, yeah, war is sick. I'm pumped to fight. That's not what you're supposed to do. No, but you you have the mission and you do it, and then if you fuck it, right? Yeah, well, I don't think you're supposed to be like, yeah, this is fun. I like killing. <laughs> what? Well, I don't know, dude. I, I mean, am. If I'm put in a, I'm forced to be there, dude. Fair enough. I'm forced to be there. So you're like, fuck, might as well have fun while you're there. Yeah, I'm here for a good time, not a goddamn long time. I'll tell you that, buddy. That's, <laughs> dude, that's insane. <sighs> what you wouldn't? You would just like, you would just crumble. No. I mean, I hope not, <laughs> you know, but dude, that was fucking trippy to be in the military mm -hmm. uh, while the Ukraine war happened. Yeah. And then you're like, holy fuck, dude, what if it actually happened? You like start like yeah. swirling. What if this shit is? You know, but then, yeah, I don't know. I, I guess, I mean, either you'd be like, fuck it. And then it's like, you know, assume you're going to die anyway. Yeah. Or then you like break down and in fear i think that's like mm -hmm. the two opportunities of what could happen mm -hmm. i'm not sure but yeah. i imagine like that's what happens to most people yeah. yeah uh i mean i think if we were talking about spy movies and that stuff well then war movies you think war movies are more insane as well than the actual movies because I'm trying to think through war movies. There's been pretty nutty no, okay. war movies. But probably, no, I'm, I want to say like no war movie can capture, you know, what the stress has to be like for real. That's true. Feel. But be honest, there's a few that have gone damn near close, dude. Yeah, but still, damn no, I close. don't think so. I think because, they, they can do a good job like capturing it on screen, but they can't like emulate how it feels to actually be in that situation. But hasn't there been like multiple like real adaptations of uh, um battles in war movies and stuff like that 
almost of real characters and then they've yeah i think the so. veterans themselves have seen it and they've like been brought to tears about how i mean dude good well, that i heard that is. i heard that when they made saving private ryan yeah they had like a screening for world war ii veterans and then they all got ptsd and had to fucking stop watching no it's pretty fucked up no i heard yeah holy fuck that might be fake but but isn't that kind of like technically a good thing because no. it's like so similar that it's like real then? I mean, I, I guess if you were a movie director and you're, you're movie trying to go for realistic. War veterans PTSD, would you be pumped on that? Oh. That's a good question. <laughs> you're the Hollywood man. What do you think? If you made a war movie and then some PTSD like veterans saw it and they got horrible flashbacks, would it be like, hell yeah? Okay, no, it wouldn't be hell yeah. But I mean, if the veterans you know accept that realistic is the goal then i think it's fine right i guess i don't know have you have you seen the new one on netflix with world war one all quiet on the west no Front? no I, I haven't seen it yet i have but i've i've seen the original I've yeah seen the original and i i really want to see this netflix i actually i think all Quiet on the Western Front was like one of the books that I really had to read if I wanted to pass a course back in like in middle history? school. And oh, shit. middle school, yeah. I don't know what you're doing. Yeah, dude. I don't think I read a single book in high school. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking stupid. Now that I think about it, because like our English teacher, think about it, he actually put so much thought into like choosing different books, choosing, you know, choosing then, like from various authors, yeah. various points of view. Then. <laughs> All of high school just fucking off and not reading any of yeah. them like a dumbass. And that our English classes would be completely of us just, just discussing chapters and stuff and different views and perspectives. And then the fact that you, you and I, need both of us, we never read a goddamn page. But for some reason, at least you, you could ramble on for a goddamn hour of the class. <laughs> Yeah, but what was coming out of my mouth was not good. It was <laughs> idiotic shit, dude. <laughs> to be real, it was not. Nothing smart ever came out of my mouth. I think to this day, nothing smart I've probably never said. You would start. Uh, uh, our English teacher would ask about. Okay, so how is this a good? Uh, how is how did this portray the Vietnam War? And then you'd be like, well. Technically, I don't think it was the about the Vietnam War. I think it was about how they were dealing heroin out of Vietnam into the U.S. And then that's how they were there. And then you just talk about that. No, for that's about the Afghanistan half. War <laughs> where they dealt heroin, I think. No, but that's how ridiculous of a tangent you go off. <laughs> no, but that's not even... I think they did do, like... There's, like, drugs. No, with Vietnam. Was, I mean, Afghanistan was all about heroin, some people say. You know, there's, like... They no, have, like, that US was soldiers all... guarding... Okay, but if you so, really want to get into Vietnam, wasn't Frank Lucas, remember Denzel Washington, Russell Crowe? No. American gangster? No. Frank Lucas? No. Nope. Listen, this guy was a brother from Harlem and then he ends up somehow he gets a connect to the deep deep humid jungles of Vietnam during the war and he goes direct to a fucking opium supplier right and then he goes he makes a deal and then the way they fucking get all that fresh fresh opium all the way over to the U u.s was that they put it in the dead soldiers coffins wait that's a movie yeah that was an american gang but was it based on reality yes that's fucking nuts yes really? yes frank huh. lucas this guy was a real fucking gangster that's in harm crazy Har Yes. They put it in the bodies? Think about that. Yeah, not in the bodies, in the coffins. Yeah, and yeah. They had like an extra fucking compartment. Fuck. Think about it. That's fucking nuts. Think about it. That was during the Vietnam War, bro. Dude. That was whole... Drug, isn't that fucking crazy, Drug dude? trafficking is like... Think about the fact that um, the cartels nowadays have submarines. Yeah. That's fucking... Dude. Submarines... 
that's gotta suck though being like one of the submarine guys in a cartel yeah being like pedro the submarine yeah. driver yeah <laughs> you got like, those submarines suck they're made of like pieces of steel and you're just like oh see go towards front oh that's a navy ball oh no that's a torpedo that's a door that's a which way is north which way is south <laughs> like, a, oh no dude, i swear but at the end of the day i think it i bro I, I think drug trafficking is at the end of the day as simple as just trade kind of yeah and there's a there's a product that needs to be distributed yeah but the shit they like go through to get it from one part of the world yeah. to another is fucking yeah nuts. now it Dude, is submarines that's insane now it imagine is imagine being like a narco submarine you know yeah like captain yeah it's like it's completely dark you're underwater you just have heroin in a boat yeah fuck that that's That'll a fuck that sounds like a goddamn nightmare Dude. full of anxiety yeah, it's and completely dark yeah because they're they're made out of like piece of steel glue yeah together. yeah 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 they're tiny too yeah. people think submarines are like these huge dude they're like tiny yeah, the little narco, pods the narco submarines yeah. are tiny yeah they're tiny little pods dude that are just trafficking millions like a big shark could just eat you millions you know? in monetary value dude yeah oh my jesus but think about it before that it it's crazy to me that you know the one of the modern highlights of drug track trap drug trafficking was silk road the dark the yeah, dark the web internet. silk road right where they sold all every single drug you can think of online yeah. right and somehow it was just anonymous and all that and then that one guy got busted and whatever the fuck Dude, right you know you know it's funny yeah you know how they like they sold drugs online in like envelopes and shit mm -hmm. my little brother ordered just stickers like from a you know sticker company online yeah that came in like a yellow padded envelope mm -hmm. then it came in the mail and my mom was like dude what the fuck is this who ordered this open it right now i want to yeah. see what's in there yeah he was like okay this is the stickers and she's like oh oh i thought you ordered drugs online what like, my mom was like hardcore fucking tripping out she's like someone's ordered drugs my kids are doing heroin really she, yeah she was like <laughs> like heart pounding she's like running upstairs like who the fuck what no. is this <laughs> And then my brother was like, I ordered stickers. <laughs> there was just straight up fucking stickers that he would put on like his PC or something. No mom way. Was like, what? Your mom it's a yellow padded envelope. No I bet it's way. heroin. Oh, no. Dude, that's, that's like oh, mom brain. Oh, your poor mom. That's oh. serious mom brain. Oh, your poor mom. And then it turns out the back of the stickers was like a whole LSD tab worth of That's papers. what my dad said. My dad was like, yeah, did you try licking them? But yeah, no, it was for real, just stickers. <laughs> Your mom started. Let me tell you, is this? Yeah. Just to see. It. No, but the whole, the whole thing about Silk Road, that name, you know where it comes from. Yeah, it's right? not like a real. That, that yeah. that's a real thing. Yeah. That's how they. Oh, dude, I'm I'm not gonna search this up. But let's just assume it's funnier, me guessing. But I'm pretty sure it was this pathway from China, right? The west yeah. coast of China. No, sorry. East coast of China all the way up to Europe. Yeah. It goes through Mongolia and then fucking like Russia and shit. And then flows all the way to like yeah. Europe. And then even I swear it like goes all the way to Egypt or some shit. I'm not even fucking kidding dude and it was just one road where all the opium would just be fucking transferred yeah that's it and it was like guarded and shit yeah. in places like legit in the fucking mountains these i think there was like an agreement or something that this is like a road to you know trans i think they also it was not just drugs either i think it was just a general supplies general pathway yeah yeah for trade and all kinds of nutty ancient time stuff dude and yeah. it's a road yeah. through the sahara i think it's through through the sahara desert at one point i'm not know. even I kidding mean, if you're Some wrong desert. you're gonna look like a Some desert Oh my! Yeah, I have a mental image as well of it being through the desert, but I have no idea if it's true. You have a mental image of yeah. the Silk Road. 
like that it oh. would have been through the desert. That's what yeah, I have like a memory of as well. Yeah, but or like a vision. It might be wrong. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know where it went through, but. Wow. That just imagine that, dude. I traveling used to be a completely different thing. Yeah. Traveling before planes, you just go on a boat, just chill on like a boat or a ship for like four months. Just yeah. eating, you know, they ate. They just ate like okay stale bread and consider yeah, <laughs> big cheese or whatever. <laughs> they just bring it like a, they probably brought animals with them. They'd like they can. They kind of calculate that in the weight of whatever freaking medieval boat they were building. Maybe. And I don't know. They'd consider, okay, let's just bring like a lamb with us. I think they ate like <laughs> dried meat because they, that's why they got scurvy. Really? Right? Yeah, because they couldn't, they didn't have access to any like vitamin C. They just ate like dried meat and then they, really? their teeth fell out or something. Okay, but okay. other than the ones that wanted to go out to the ocean, think about just walking yeah walking from one place to another long distances Dude, that's what do you how think we got every what what do you think's the longest distance you've ever walked me i mean just probably the march in the military where i had to do like 80 kilometers in 48 hours okay you know yeah that's yeah you know it's kind of funny now that i mention it because one of the longest walks I just off the top of my head that comes up is when we walked together. Oh, from yeah, yeah, from yeah, our from school the, to center of the city. Yeah, or that was the a mall, long, the mall all yeah. the way to yeah. But that's only like eight kilometers. Fuck, you're 10. so right. You're so right. Yeah, but it was like consecutively. Yeah, you know, because in, in a army march, yeah, you take a break every seven kilometers, yeah. six every okay. hour. So it's kind of the same. I think, uh, yeah, no, I don't but, know, walking something. But it's, it is crazy because after that 80-kilometer march, I mean, we did a lot of other things in this walk, but still, like, legs are completely fucked, feet are completely fucked, everything is, like, hurts. Your ass crack feels like it's in the burning depths of hell, dude. Right, but think about that, and then think about, like, people just had to probably do that every day. Th- when they like migrated from place to place. Oh my god. How were people's ass cracks feeling before fucking Vaseline, Dude. bro? Damn. How I don't talk about the Silk Road. They're fucking walking 8,000 kilometers one way. No, oh, but think about how f- and they didn't think there's no way they could tr- maybe they found I'm sure out they a put way other to th- shit on maybe, their ass. Maybe no, no 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 really. Yeah, maybe like animal fat or something. Yeah. They, they must, must have, have come up with something. They must have. Or they found Dude, out this a way the real, to shave out their assholes doing the- or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, do you think every march, every like ancient march had like a royal ass shaver? Yeah. You know, if the king had to Dude, go. that's from- the deleted scenes from the fucking movie 300. All those fucking motherfuckers had to, had a session before they went in battle where they would share like animal lard and stuff it up their ass. You think so? And balls and shit. All know? right, Brutus, uh, it's bend over. I have some goat fat here, going and alive. just you're gonna feel a little bit of an itch. And <laughs> Dude, this is the real historical questions: How did people keep their ass from itching during marches back in the old days? Yeah, genuinely. How the fuck? How the? But they also, yeah, that's fucked up. Dude. That's that's actually that's the crazy. That out of everything, out of everything. Maybe that's why they started riding horses. The ass itch was too much. Yeah. Yeah, but man, their spines must have been pretty. Do think about how much your back hurts from riding a horse all the time. You're just bouncing around like that kind of. Good, good, good. Yeah. Maybe you get used to it. I don't know, but because human. No beings, way that's. I think good. human beings are anatomically designed to walk long ways. Like we're not good at um, at running. We're mm-hmm. not good at you know sprinting. We're not good at swimming. Nothing like that. But because we're like upright, I think that means we're good at walking long distances. Okay. So that's how we like spread all over the world. It's like walking and migrating that way. Okay. That might not be true, but I see. I think I read a book like four years ago. Yeah. All right. You know. Mm-hmm. Just think about it. Like people had to walk from, you know, where did they start? Mesopotamia. Yeah. Right. Yeah. To, Didn't you say it was like West Africa? Yeah, I think, or East Africa. East Africa. Like Middle East area. Yeah. Egypt area, I think. Yeah. Still walking from there 
through like Russia mm -hmm. and all of Europe, Eurasia yeah. to like the US. Yeah. That's fucking insane. No. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, you're right. Yeah, 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 they were in the US. You had yeah. to like think about the amount of asses you had to just wax. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you think that was probably one of the first things they figured out right that and shoes yeah shoes probably first yeah that's about it clothing yeah i mean you had to figure out clothing if you went like further north yeah you know i'd say yeah but ass wax is up there yeah um man damn it we did a solid five 10 minute session on just ass ah. itch, itch that's pretty good content <laughs> no um no, dude sometimes you just trip out like how much it would have stuck to have lived any other time than like now you know yeah in a way yeah yeah I don't know I mean I think about it very organically. I think, okay, I'm put on. I've been giving the chance of life at this certain time in history for a reason. You know? And that reason is to make podcasts where you talk about sweaty ass cracks. <laughs> That's the damn near best I can do. <laughs> That's pretty sad, dude. If the, best we ha if the best you and I have to contribute to the world is talking about you know, ass cracks on a podcast, then we should probably just not be born. Dude, imagine if that's like you, and then the you like beat out the the piece of semen that would have like cured cancer. <laughs> and instead we get the guy who just talks ass. Like you outswam the one semen who could have cured <gasps> cancer. Maybe I outswam the one semen who could have like, you know, cure another disease or fix global warming. Okay, but think about how sad it would have been if I just was randomly born in like the year 900 and then i'm like i i you just been I'm talking born, to yourself in a cave i'm born but then my mom already died because she gave birth to me she didn't survive after the birth and then i lived for three years and just when i can almost start communicating i die that's it. That's just life. Yeah. <laughs> you know. So when you talk about if you could have a life in a different time, bro. Yeah. I guess you're right. I mean, my ancestors were like German nobles. So yeah. history's going to look kindly on those people. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Some goodness. asshole with a castle and yeah. a knight. Yeah. Like back in the day, you could. that's how you became a noble. You had like a piece of land and a horse or yeah. something. Yeah. Something like that. And so then you know was that dude i bet there was so much scheming around back in those like knighthood lord fucking yeah. days and maybe that maybe it would have been sick being like you have like your own you know yeah like a spy I feel like there was a lot less purpose of life back then i feel I like mean, most people then were serfs so someone owned like the land and then you just work yeah. the land you're just a farmer yeah every day why do i feel like now there's much more purpose to life yeah. personally but then like I feel like not a lot of people understand that. Well, and, they, and you know, because you talk about recording a podcast and talking about ass cracks. I'm just saying, at least I took the goddamn chance about <laughs> with my life to record a podcast talking about ass but that's cracks. That's only because you have the chance to, you know? <laughs> yeah. Because if you're like a, yeah, if you're like a farmer, like a surf. Yeah, in the middle ages, you just yeah. kind of—I mean, you're talking about ass crack probably with your bros while yeah. like tilling the land. Yeah, and then the owner of the land like whips you and he's like, you know, don't talk work faster. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, oh fuck, jeez. And then you die of you know like a disease. Yeah. Nah, that's gotta suck. That's that's gotta be. Noble. But it's gotta be kind of sick to be the like, or maybe it doesn't to be you know like the noble who owns the mm -hmm. land. Because mm -hmm. what do you even do? You just watch. Your sales yeah. farm. And yeah. Like, okay, I'm gonna sell these to another guy, and yeah. then I will like give a soldier. Bro, to the imagine, king. bro, imagine being a fucking philosopher. A philosopher. Like an ancient philosopher, bro. Yeah, like the one guy who just like sat around and like jerked off and shit in the street. <laughs> That's a philosopher. That's a like, Greek philosopher, I think. He was like he's 
whole thing was he just <laughs> hedonism or something and he would just like shit in the streets and like jerk off yeah and then he was like and then the king was like or some king came out and was like dude why are you doing this and he was like bro i'm just this the same level as you we're all yeah. humans yeah dude i might be making this up <laughs> but that's what i this one philosopher who would just like shit in the streets and jerk off and didn't give a fuck yeah you know what is it what was his fucking name shitus or some shit no it started with d it was like something dio i don't fucking know <laughs> you know but then there was also diarios or something <laughs> wow bro you should be a comedian you're so funny <laughs> um no but i mean all you would just have to do is think imagine philosophers were greek philosophers some of them were really high ranking in society right yeah i think because greeks were they wanted a society like that but not all of mm-hmm. them like the, the one yeah I was, but I just think said about, about he lived like a barrel of shit in yeah the yeah yeah but think about think about the emperor yeah emperor right i don't fucking know yeah whatever let's just say emperor king whatever the fuck whatever leader right you have the emperor right and then you have your i don't know dining fucking wine wine and dining like you always do after you know having your dicks sucked off and Dude, the greeks the, loved fucking little seeing, boys seeing yeah they did that's fucking and creepy. seeing a freaking gladiator fight and those gladiator were probably like sucking the king's dick off at the same time like i think that was knows? the romans i think you're mixing up civilizations okay i don't care <clears throat> right you're gonna offend so many really romans yeah yeah no, I don't well, know. I don't know. Well, there, there was some fucking leader of the Greeks. I don't fucking know. Listen, yeah. listen, listen. So then they're all just off the fucking grape juice, right? Yeah. And then all of a sudden the philosopher just goes like, oh, yeah, but dude, listen, life is just like this. You know, it's kind of crazy. And then the emperor or the leader is just like, yeah, you're fucking right. Bro. No, it's the philosophers, crazy. I think, came up with the leading system. The philosophers in Greek, they came up with, like, democracy, you know, so that you wouldn't really? have a king. Yeah. The Greek philosophers came up with democracy. I'm pretty sure. Really? Yeah. Okay. That's very interesting. Um, But, Sam, what a fuck. Well, who came up with Greek gods? What were we on? We were fucking talking Greeks, getting yeah, all our facts China, wrong. Right? Greek gods and all that crazy stuff. Dude, it must have been pretty sick to have Greek gods. Yeah, I, w- I could totally believe in some Greek gods. I ain't gonna lie. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty... Him. You have, like, a thunder god. Like, yeah, this is sick. I like the wine god, all that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, like, different characters and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Do that... Do the Chinese have anything like that? Do they have like pagan gods like that? Because the Greeks have no, any Norse no, people they have them? just they have different Buddhas, but that's it. Just Buddhism and Taoism? I don't even know what the f- I, I guess don't know so. about Taoism, bro. But Buddhism, there's different Buddhas. No, oh, yeah. But it's just like think about it, it's kinda of weird. Like here in like the north you had like Norse gods and Greek you had Greek gods. Yeah. But then in the east you had like completely different Mm. you know shit going on yeah because buddhism is kind of not even a religion in the same way it's more like a yeah. philosophy for life so it's kind of yeah. weird that i was like i do completely evolved differently yeah like here everyone's like oh there's got to be a thunder god because mm-hmm. there's thunder and all this shit mm-hmm. and then the chinese were like or like the eastern asian people you know whoever it was back then yeah were like no it's just like buddhism mm-hmm. yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. It. I don't know. As much as people say Buddhism isn't a religion, yeah, in a sense, I still think it kind of is, because it's you know, it's a it's a you know, because there's different Buddhas. They have different Buddhas in different places in China. Yeah, but I think so. You go visit him, and then you still light some kind of fucking candle or something. I mean, shit. I guess it depends on how you define Sand. religion, dude. Yeah, I know, but it's getting into some real, you know, <laughs> Jordan Peterson shit. <laughs> you know, you know, I don't know what religion is, man, but one thing I do know about is 
there shouldn't be fat chicks on magazines. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Dude, Jordan Peterson, that guy trips me out, man. I don't know. It trips me out because it's that intellectual stuff and it all makes sense, but I don't think it, as much as it makes sense, it kind of doesn't draw me in as in I can personally care about it. Damn, you fucking stumbled through that sentence, dude. Really? <laughs> yeah, you're like, I thought it went smooth. <laughs> and there was like, long loading screen between each word <laughs> sorry i'm lagging a little bit yeah that's it's been a long weekend dude yeah yeah you've been yeah. partying dude you've been they're like you've been just socializing been, mm, 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 mm. cooked a feast yesterday i cooked a feast i ain't gonna lie you want to talk about fried chicken being top cuisines well that's something i know how to do that was not a sentence either. <laughs> I'm just not putting them together. Right yeah, no, you just kind of, you know, have words and then you stop making me freak out. Vin. this is not OK. What do you mean? Um, OK, now I'm going to really think about what I say. I'm every saying semi-coherent then... sentences. Most of them are like not smart things, but you're just saying words and then you hope they work together and they don't. I'm shaking right now, Vin. I'm shaking. Why are you shaking? I'm kidding. I'm What's going on, bro? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, <clears throat> I think... I don't know. I've been having a little crisis. I haven't sling dick in a while. Yeah? Yeah. It's, uh, it's making me think back to, uh, you know, the times when we first met each other. Um... What would you say is one of the biggest differences? Or one of the biggest... Well, it's just like off the rip. What's changed the most? It doesn't matter what What about you? Yeah, about me. Just first thing. Fuck, dude. I don't know. I mean, you're... You don't even fucking know what's going on anymore. And back then, you at least pretended like you knew what's going on. Yeah. (laughs) You're like, yeah, I'm in high school. I'm doing good. I'm cool as hell. But now you're like, bro, what the fuck? I'm going to (laughs) swim. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. At least I pretended like I knew what was going on. (laughs) You're still like... (laughs) Maybe that's why I was good. At, uh, that's why I was slaying dick because these girls thought I had everything figured out. They're like, "Oh my god, look at him! He's got like confidence and everything." And I'm here, just yeah. But now I'm kind of, I'm not kind of. Nowadays, I'm just whatever. Life's crazy, dude. Again, that's another sentence. <laughs> Nowadays, I'm just whatever. Life's crazy, dude. That's not anything. You're not saying anything. That's the dumbest shit I ever heard. Do you like the like a character in a movie? Yeah. That's like the annoying character. That's like that <laughs> like the bad example big brother in every movie. There's like a kid and then his friend has a big brother yeah. who's a bad example. No. That's you. No, come on. Yeah. Oh no. No, I mean not. Wait, quite. so you're no, but at least I'm not pretending anymore, right? That's like the compliment with the, what, how you describe me at least now i'm not pretending anymore because i didn't know what was going on back then but i was just pretending I knew yeah sure okay on. yeah yeah right at least i admit to myself now that except I, every now and then you think you're like a genius film director yeah yeah which is what that's just like delusional or i mean <laughs> kind of <laughs> I sound like an asshole. It's yeah. your turn. You gotta, yeah. you know, yeah. dish it back. Otherwise, I'm just an asshole. Yeah. Well, I guess that's kind of like my whole motivation. That's the only way I can make it not delusional is if I somehow actually end up pulling it off. Okay. So you're like. So, you know, I'll get the Oscar when I'm in my 50s. All right, buddy. And, uh,. I'll get to, sh- dude, my dream is like, if I can just shake Natalie Portman's hand one time 
in my life and tell her how she's the fucking goaded actress and then maybe maybe give Amy Adams a hug and tell her that she's the most beautiful pale uh, red haired woman I've ever seen in my life and then that's about it she's just gonna want to go and like touch actresses in Hollywood when maybe they're, when well, they're maybe, like maybe do a line of coke with Quentin Tarantino that's there so. he has to be on coke that guy <laughs> every interview he's like <laughs> oh yeah he's like so dude like listening listen, to him gives you anxiety I told him not to do that not because yeah exactly <laughs> dude he's that guy freaks me out you get anxiety when you listen to him talk oh but that i'd only expect him to talk that way maybe that's your pro- maybe you're not on enough cocaine to do good movies what maybe you're not on enough cocaine to make good movies maybe you need to start doing like a shit ton of coke i think that's your problem could be that's problem. my problem yeah like that's what i'm missing now yeah that's I that's so. that's like the small step i need to to elevate me to the top i think so mm. Mm. i don't know yeah sure why not that's not the right <laughs> answer to that question dude you should be like no <laughs> what you can't what Man's gotta do a little booger sure once in his lifetime. You know what I'm talking about. Hey, now, dude, this is an anti-drug podcast. <laughs> the only drug we're in favor of is uh, the Tea. divinity of Christ. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'd consider tea a drug. It's got caffeine in it. Tea. tea. Yeah. So everybody drink tea. That's what like about coffee. Yeah, coffee too, but I'd say tea is like probably because it's just like fucking dried up leaves and shit. Coffee is like coffee is like most people can have more people can have tea than coffee. Tea is pretty chill. You just tea is very drink chill. tea and you're like fuck it, dude. Things cool. people. Do, I think, dude. I don't know what it is with you white people, but y'all y'all can't fucking drink a single drop of warm water. Or hot water. That's true. Whites don't drink hot water without you know putting tea or coffee. It's it. kind of fuck. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of crazy. I only like, learned you guys about treat this. it like poison. I only learned about this when I started learning Chinese, and then there was like a, like a common sentence or like he wants hot water, and I was like, yeah, people just drink hot water. People just, they just drink do, hot water. They just do that in Asia. Yes. Damn. Yes, because it's better for your body. It's not good for your body to drink cold water. I don't think it's bad for you to drink cold water. Yeah, but it's better for you to drink warm water. That's for damn I guess. sure. Yeah. Sometimes when I'm like sick, I'll just drink hot water. When I just because yeah. you want to feel like if you have like sore throat. Yeah. But yeah, people don't just drink hot water. But is yeah. it so they do it? And like because my mom, my mom damn near had a heart attack when she uh, she heard that uh, with my first girlfriend uh, when she heard that um, girls. Nowadays, like white girls, they eat ice cream when they're on their periods. And then my mom was had a fucking isn't there like a out. Chinese word for like inner heat or something like body heat, like yeah, I can't like that remember. all those like Chinese medicine things. Yeah, I, I'm just learning about yeah, yeah, all yeah, yeah. stuff now because I'm studying the language. But yeah, I can't, I can't remember like but Chinese traditional medicine, my, my, right? My mom, my mom freaked out. She's like, what? She's doing what? You're not supposed to have anything cold when you're on your period. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's it's crazy because it's like you want to put a warm bag, you know, instead of ice. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Periods, dude. What, yeah. what that's. Yeah. <laughs> this is the dumbest shit ever. Yeah. We're just going to talk, talk about like yeah. period advice. Just two dudes being like, yeah. Ladies, yeah. When the time of the months come, we no, we no. I'll fucking do. say this right now, ladies. Fucking drink hot water with some fucking lemon or right. ginger or something, Doctor Alexi. Fuck, if you got that period cramps, I'm telling you right now, ladies. Don't be, <clears throat> don't be eating the chocolate or the ice cream. This is all you. No, nothing. Just if you want, add a pinch of sugar into that. It dissolves in the warm water much easier than cold water. Okay. 
Keep off the cold waters, ladies. What? The fucking... Maybe you should start a health H2O. podcast where you just make up shit like yeah. you're doing now. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, I mean, shout out, shout out periods, dude. What? <laughs> <laughs> shout out to menstruation, man. This is becoming like more... Think about it. Women live longer because of that, bro. Is that why? Yeah. Think you know? about it. They fucking, they recycle blood. <laughs> They fucking that's not how we're it. stuck with the same blood. Do you think that's why? Do you think that's how? And we restock that? on blood. When do we restock on blood, bro? Fresh what? blood, fresh blood cells. When the fuck? Exactly. You, you make it in your bone marrow. Make it in our bone marrow. Yeah. How, how freaking crazy is our bone marrow compared to female? All, all like you know, chicks. They just fuck. You know, it's. Dude. I know it sucks for that period. Dude, did you ever take biology? What? Why? I don't think that's why chicks have periods to recycle their blood. I'm sure it's one of the reasons. <laughs> one of the big reasons. Dude, I I'd promise like you. to recycle my blood once a month if I, I could. I promise you that's not why. I wish I could fucking recycle dude, my blood. Speaking of recycling blood, you know what I thought about doing? Mm. I thought about going to donate blood. Yeah. And then telling the nurse who takes the blood that it's like, oh yeah, I just got the COVID vaccine. Mm-hmm. But then I listened to their Joe Rogan podcast. And <laughs> so now... I just need to take out the blood until all the vaccine is out. Yeah. And then just be like, yeah, yeah, keep going. Yeah, I, I still feel some in me. Yeah, okay, that's good. Yeah, yeah, all the vaccine is out now. Oh, my this, God. <laughs> oh, my dude. But then, yeah, I, I haven't donated blood because, I don't know, I start, I start tripping out when, I, when they draw blood. I always, like, pass out. Yeah. Which is pretty fucked. Yeah. It's kind of sad. Hmm. I, but they find like the vein yeah. first try, right? And yeah, but still, like last time I went to do a blood test, I was just like, Whoa. dude, yeah. it was so funny. I was like out cold immediately. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I woke up, I was like, oh, what happened? The nurse was like panicking. She's like yelling for a cover. I was like, oh, lady, uh, did I pass out? Yeah. She's like, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, sorry. Uh. <laughs> Dude, that was fucking so weird, dude. No way. I've never passed out in my life, bro. Damn. I've never passed out in my life. There's been a few times I've... Close to what I think is athlete, like blackout, kind of... When you ba- athletes get into their zone and they kind of blackout and stuff. Yeah. I've had that kind of... You are a hardcore athlete. That's what yeah, you are. Because First and foremost, you're mm-hmm. a hardcore swimmer. Mm-hmm. You swim with Michael Phelps. You're yeah. big boy. Yeah. And you post your watch picture. Wait, you know that's not not a cap. You yeah. know what? That's a real yeah. statement. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. You swam yeah. with Michael Phelps. You yeah. were guys in like, the same pool at the yeah. same time. Yeah. So yeah. you're basically bros with him. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I've never passed out, dude. Damn. I think that's the only time I've passed out was when I was like doing blood tests. Which is yeah. weird. Yeah. Because apparently it's just because you're scared of it. Yeah. Which is fucking... That just means I'm a fucking total dude. pussy. <laughs> You know, I once wanted to uh, black out from fucking needles in the same situation. I was in the military, and since I was uh, I was a combat medic, or getting trained to be one at least, one of the courses we had in the forest, mind you, not yeah. in the regular building, in the forest camp, one day we get into the ambulance, or like the medic van, the yeah. Military medic van. I mean, and the whole lesson is to teach how to find the capillary or the vein. Yeah. So then you can do all kinds of stuff, yeah. right? You know, put in the drip or whatever, take the blood out. And we were getting taught that. And I learned pretty fast. I got a second try. Okay. I found it, got, got the tube in. Yeah. And then, like, taped it up nice and secured it. And then our um <clears throat> our major sergeant who is yeah just our leader yeah. of our group or squad he he was trying to all, he wanted to do it as well and i was his test subject dude he found it on the ninth time Damn. i wanted to pa- i wanted to like, i bet he did it intentionally he just I, did yeah, fuck with you i swear i swear 
<laughs> I swear. Dude, that's what I would do if I was the asshole master sergeant. I'd be like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. oh, man, it's really difficult. Oh, fuck. And I was, and the fact that it was, it was four on the left to the <laughs> Damn. What an asshole. You made me pump so much. And I was just like, dude, just let me pass out at this point. Like, just please, please. That's just a funny mental image of a guy just like sticking it repeatedly in your arm. Oh, dude. And this guy's like a meter 65 bald headed, like tank dude, size. That's like That's every, that's hard. every sergeant in the army. Oh. I swear. There's nobody in the Finnish military above six foot. Oh. They're all so short. Yeah. And it's they're all short funny. as fuck and jacked as fuck. It's kind of funny because we're tall all do that anyway so yeah it's always a but show. the military just as like everybody basically looks like just joe rogan they're like short jack dudes yeah yeah, yeah with God. anger issues yeah anger. that's fucking that's what our defense is built on it's just yeah. short guys who are angry yeah yeah kind of it really is oh but that was that man but hey dude just in case you know i know a lot of pretty like sick stuff i know i gave out uh Rona vaccines, bro. Damn. Wait, Just you like, vaccinated people? Damn. You're part of the global conspiracy. Yeah, bro. I I hella got those people, the nanobots in the blood. Dude, the Rogues would not approve. Imagine. I did it. I did it. Yeah. I swear, I You're never going to make it on Joe Rogan now. He's going to find out you gave out vaccines. He's going to be like, fuck this guy. Otherwise, I would definitely want this fucking random kid from Finland on my show, but yeah. he gave out vaccines. <laughs> That's the last straw. <laughs> the last straw. Yeah, that is. That totally is. Um, how do you feel about this, though? Um, the fucking Eagles are playing in like 10 minutes. Yeah. I'm fucking pumped as hell, dude. I want the Eagles to win. Eagles to win? Yeah. But what are the chances they don't? Uh, I hope What not. can the opponents do? I don't know enough, dude. I'm not going to pretend to know about football. I just want to watch the game, but I hope it's the Eagles versus the Bengals, or the. Is it ver versus the Bengals? No, Eagles like Bengals, the no? Super Bowl. Oh, I Eagles mean, like the, I hope the Super Bowl is the Eagles versus Bengals, you know, because I I don't want to I don't know the Forty ers they won like two or three years ago. Yeah. And the the. Wait, forty. Yeah, they beat the Chiefs like. Oh yeah, they. Oh, yeah, you they know? beat the fucking Chiefs, bro. Dude, the Chiefs chalked that so and hard. And then, yeah, didn't they, like, choke oh against him? I'm not sure. Dude, I honestly, there's no way there's another Chiefs fucking 49ers Super Bowl, right? Exactly. If no there's another way. Chiefs no 49ers. None of us exactly. wants That's that. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. I want the Bengals against the yeah. Eagles. Yeah. Or at least, like, you know, the Eagles Chiefs or Bengals Niners. But just something other than the Niners okay. and the Chiefs. We we're we're all rooting for Eagles tonight, right? Yeah. Yeah. We're all dude. Go birds. Devontae bro. Smith better go fucking off tonight. I'm telling you, dude. Bro, and Eagles Devontae has a bunch Smith of former Saints players, so I'm pumped tonight. for that. What? Eagles has like four Saints players. Yeah. Former Saints players, so I'm Fuck. pumped. Dude. Kelsey's gonna go crazy. Jason. Hell yeah. And then yeah, no, 49ers, like it's tippable. But you know, nobody would really want. Okay, Brock, Brock Purdy it was it fun is pretty for a sick while. That it's like a rookie. George though. Kittle came back from his injury. He did a lot. They made the one of the best roster moves in offense, getting Christian McCaffrey. Right, that's all yeah. very good. Like I tip you guys, you have the best defense. Okay, but get the Eagles because Jalen Hurts has proven that he's a fucking MVP caliber quarterback. Right. And then get Joey Burr back on the fucking Super Bowl stage. And now he's going to get yeah, him. Rookie run, versus rookie. Rookie qu qu quarterbacks versus each other in Super Bowl. That would be pretty sick. Yeah. And Brock Purdy is also a rookie. But, you know, I mean, that was, yeah, that's the point that that guy made from the Cowboys. For like three, four, three of the four QBs. Bengals, Chiefs, dude. Still... No, there's no way that Patrick Mahomes can't beat Joey B, right? Well, there's no th way. They're 3 0. It's the curse, right? It's the curse. He, Bengals, Bengals, can't Chiefs, beat three and zero. No, so, Joey versus yeah. Patrick's is three and zero. Yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. Sorry, yeah, but that's the whole thing. Like, then you're worried that this is gonna be the one game where it goes the other way. Dude, so whoever win, whoever wins that game wins the wins the Super Bowl in my opinion. You think so? You think the yeah. AFC champ wins the Super Bowl? Yeah. I mean, the AFC has been I way better so. this year than the NFC I think so. overall. I, think. I really think so. 
Dude, you're getting me pumped for a Super Bowl. I think, dude, I or think I football. almost want to watch the second game, dude. If you can stay up, fuck it. Balti, you know, this guy's staying over, too. Well, I might as well. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, let's fucking make some snacks. Let's wrap this up. All right, yeah. Cheers, everybody. We're going to enjoy ourselves a beautiful fucking Sunday once again. All right. And, uh, 再见. 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 Nice catching up once again, Vin.